Hey everybody, this is Marie, and you might know me by my YouTube channel, Marie Hale 1021 um, I'm doing a video, and this video is about Miriam's Crafting Blog.com and her second store, The Craft Source, which is on Facebook. Just about everything that you're going to see in this video, you can either purchase from the Miriam's Crafting Blog.com or The Craft Source. So, we're going to get started. It's going to be about rub and buff and metals and what you can do with the rub and buff and how to apply it and what I do with it. So, this is what it is. It is a waxed based product and it comes in various colors and this is how it comes in a tube. Um, that tube will last you a very long time. Now, um, like I said, it does come in various colors. So, let's check this out. Now, this is a metal which in the middle is the original metal is just one of many 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 metals that Miriam carries so let's check out the big differences we have our Grecian gold our pewter our European gold our silver leaf our auburn gold our gold leaf um, we have Spanish copper which is dark and ebony which is black and isn't that just beautiful? Um, it's a great product because you can customize and use it on just about everything. Now, um, one example is paper clay. And this Fleur de Lis is paper clay. And then I just use the rub and buff as a whole um, color. Um, I usually use it for a highlight or a low light to create depth. Um, you can use it on UD. You can use it on texture paste, embossing paste. Um, you can even use it for your molds, like Fimo, or like me, I like to use the glue stick in my glue gun for molds. And here is an example of my glue stick that I did. And in this one, which Miriam carries the mold, I did a dry brushing technique with the rub and buff buff, which dry brushing is exactly the way it sounds. It's when your brush is really, really dry. And it hits the highlights of your mold. Now, I did uh, the whole thing on this one with the gold leaf rub and buff. Here's another example of the highlighting. I mean, it really pops the detail of the feathers on these wings. And this is also paper clay. Now, you can also use it for the Prima resins or any resins. I mean, look at how beautiful that turned out in the depth. And that's just with layering the rub and buff. I think it turned out beautiful. Here's another one that's just, uh, I did in deeper colors. And it's just an amazing product. Now, you can use it as tarnish as well. Once again, this is the silver leaf. And this is your tarnished piece. And I just used a little bit of the ebony and dry brushed it on. It can also be used for paper. Um, a lot of people like to emboss. So what I did was I cut it out some gears and then embossed them. And then the rub and buff picked up the embossing part. You can also use it for brads. You can use it on flat back pearls, which Miriam also carries. Just like the glue stick, a lot of people like to do like squiggly lines and stuff for texture. And you can just rub it on with your finger to that. Now, I like to do the paintbrush. 99.9% um, .9 of the time when I'm using rub and buff. Here's another example of metals. This is the original metal that Miriam carries. And this is the same metal with the rub and buff. Just beautiful. We have another example of some metal that Miriam carries. The one on the right is the original. And then this one was done with gold, gold leaf. Just beautiful. Now, what I want to do is, I want to show you these keyholes. Now, we're going to do one in silver. And I'm just going to show you how easy it is and how little it takes. Um, I don't know if you can see on our brush, but it's very little. And it goes a long way. And of course, it's called rub and buff, so you can buff it out to make it even shinier once it dries. Um, you could do it with a cloth. I like to do it with my clean paintbrush. So, as simple as that and as quick as that, you have a customized piece 
that'll go with your project better. Now, here's the dry version. I mean, it's just beautiful. Beautiful. Now, um, real quick, I want to show you that embossing that uh, all I did is dry brushed over the spots that I really want to be seen like the screw here the hands and dry brushing is like I mean it is dry even this one is a little bit too wet I mean you really want barely any product on your brush and look how that uh, rub and buff picks up all that embossing how beautiful that is well I hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't have any rub and buff, you need to hurry and get you some. Miriam's got great prices on it. And if you already do own some of the colors, I'd say go and get them all. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye.